Hey there, good morning. So I've got a really cool, one of the coolest ways that I've found of bleeding a clutch, bench bleeding a clutch master cylinder, slave cylinder. Let's show you that real quick. So I've got David in the shop here helping me with his, uh, what, 1996 yep. XJ? Nice looking XJ. I've actually had a few comments online about it. And it needs a new master cylinder, slave cylinder for the clutch. Let me show you the best way I found of bleeding that. This is really slick. And we've got a nice fresh bottle of uh, brake fluid dot three. You gotta use a new bottle or a fresh bottle. You don't wanna be using old fluid for this. And some systems are pre-bled. This one is not. This one obviously is dry. So we're gonna get our gloves and goggles on here and get started. So on the slave cylinder, normally you leave that nylon strap in place. But for this, we're actually gonna take that off, but we're gonna save it. And the way this works, I'm gonna fill the uh, master cylinder up here with brake fluid. And then David down here, He's gonna pump on that slave cylinder with it down below like that. Like that. And it's gonna pump all the air out. Watch this, this is really cool. So I'm kinda of up too high over here, but that's okay. So I'm gonna be filling the uh, reservoir up here with new fluid as Dale's, <laughs> Dale, David. <laughs> yeah, he hasn't, he hasn't earned that title, Dale. <laughs> so I'm gonna fill this reservoir up. We've got our goggles on, cause a little bit can kinda of squirt out here, but check this out. So we're gonna have David just keep pumping that until we get all of the air out. I'm making sure that this doesn't run dry up here. And you can see it uh, forcing the air out there, just getting the line clear. Now I'm just watching real close to see if there's any more bubbles coming out at all. Fluid level's just kind of going up and down as he's pumping it, which is fine. But I don't see any more bubbles coming out. Want to make sure the line is totally clear though. And we're just kind of tapping on it a little bit, make sure there's no air bubbles trapped in the line anywhere. David was tapping on the slave cylinder a little bit. But I think we've got it pretty much done here. So now that we're done with that, he's going to go ahead and and push that in and clip those nylon straps back on. Just like that. And this method of bleeding the clutch master cylinder, bench bleeding it, is called reverse bleeding. Yep. Go figure. So there we go. The easiest way I have found to bleed a clutch works really slick. Seems to work good. So thank you guys so much for watching and have a good day.